Gary found there was something veiled about the three-tiered monolith in Anthony, and for some reason, it gave him cause to stop, look, and listen when entering. It was a feeling that one gets when viewing a historical location or structure, when its past overshadows its presence, and it's trying to communicate with a silent voice. It may have been the placard stone dated 1904, that gave rise to a sense of clairvoyance, one would question why those constructing a private residence, in a small rural town, would reference the construction date, unless there was a meaningful reason. Gary surmising, with the manners enduring months of both prevailing hot and frigid air, finding abdication with the temporal tide, an essence of solace emerged within its walls, its stately character no longer of the bourgeois, but an edifice, a victim of the couturier, and with its recent purchase, a new chapter was inaugurated in its log book of history. With the introduction of a new family, the monotheistic residence exhibited ubiquity, no longer standing solitary or as an unfrequented monument, its warmth giving station renewed and once again became an enlivened benchmark in the plebeian community. The living residence at 602 North Springfield attaining its generational mission, the newly established family having immersed themselves in its heritage. It was a city-sponsored endeavor, and Robert was animated about participating. A swimming team activity, composed of elementary age student, divided by age groups to compete with similar competition from adjoining towns. Robert and Sandy having discovered the Anthony Pool's daily availability. A journey of five blocks north on North Springfield, a convivial summertime excursion. Robert's team association requiring the discipline of structural authority, taken very serious by some, but resolved as dalliance by others. The competitive events taking place on weekends, a host of parents and grandparents attending the community occurrence, Robert doing exceeding well in his scheduled performances. Jan first noticed the aggravation in the young boy's eyes, a slight swelling and redness prevailing, the over-the-counter eye treatment finding little relief. A visit to Dr. Bond's town office providing an answer. Robert having an aversion, caused by the chlorine in the water, its aggravation being enhanced by his competitiveness exertion. After completing two competitions, Robert having to concede to his medical condition, his racing desires squelched, but normal pool activity was permissible. A commencement of the school year was upon the two students, an enrollment in Anthony Elementary, Robert enlisting the 6th grade and Sandra abetting the 5th, the school within walking distance on South Springfield, two blocks across Maine. Gary finding the two-tier schooling application in Anthony and Harper a complement to the insight and integrity of the Harper County Board of Education. Its two elementary schools, the city of Harper and Anthony, each having a K through 8th grade, and mutually sharing the 1971 constructed Chaparral High School, grades 9 through 12. The modern structure stationed on the 10-mile stretch of highway halfway between the two communities. The first day of school, Robert and Sandy expressing a slight indication of apprehension, but understandable, considering the circumstances. An inaugural day addressing an unfamiliar building, a host of new teachers, plus assembling with numerous unknown classmates. Their introduction to the Anthony Elementary School accomplished, the two young enrollees established, the Bizzun teen path of education awaiting. 